Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A particle undergoes a simple harmonic motion for amplitude x0 and frequency f. What is the average speed of the particle during one oscillation? Fine. So, the particle is undergoing simple harmonic motion. So, it moves from mean to extreme and then from extreme to the other extreme. And then it come back again to the mean position. So, this is what is happening in the complete picture. We are supposed to find the average speed, not velocity. There could be a question when they would ask you like what is the average velocity. So average velocity will be equal to the total displacement by total time. So what is the total displacement? Obviously the displacement comes out to be equal to zero. Because it started from the mean position and now it is coming back to the mean position. So what is the net displacement? Zero. So what will be the net velocity? Zero. But in this question, they are asking you about the average speed, not the velocity. So the answer is not zero here. Now, how can we define the average speed? It's my experience, I say, that whenever they ask you any question about average speed or average velocity, it is always useful if you write the formula first. Like the first thing is this, there is no direct formulation. You have to complete the numerical by itself only. So there is no direct uh, relation anywhere so average speed is given by the total distance not displacement sorry divided by the total time now what is the total distance amplitude is given as x naught x naught here x naught here and x naught here so it means the total distance is definitely 4 divided by x naught and now let us say capital T is the total time period that was taken. So we will divide it by capital T. Now T is not given but the frequency is given to us. So now we know that frequency is equal to 1 by T. So it means this can be written as 4 times X naught into F. And there we go. The answer should be T. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme. Yes, the answer is T. My dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.